end of life is such a personal journey for many with a lot of meaning, not just for the patients but for the family too. So the fact that we are actually being there and accompanying them is really a very special privilege too. And as a result, we want to ensure that when our volunteers are out there helping them to fulfill the wish, we want to make sure that we get everything right. You will have 10 minutes each, okay, and you are actually visiting the patient for the first time. My name is Jing Jing, so I'm from HIV Pets, right? 我最近读了一本书，就是关于量缩写的那本啊善终里面一句话打动了我，就是他说其实每个人会走到那个死亡的那个尽头。那我们不能逃避这个事实，可是善终却是我们可以每个人追求的一个啊权利。Peggy, how do you feel? The first part is communication training. We want to help our volunteers to communicate in a way that is empathetic and caring and confident as well uh, because that is absolutely important to create rapport and to understand what really matters to them. The second part is about helping our volunteers to give them the skills and knowledge to design, plan and execute the wish. Initially, uh, I was very fearful, I don't know what to do, especially there are so many logistics to do, and then, uh, but I did uh, reassure me, say that, uh, don't worry, I can go tag along with somebody else, so I can learn through this training. I'm very mindful of the fact that for the patient and the family, let's say if they're going to the beach, this might be the only and last visit. And if this is your last visit, you want it to go smoothly. So that is why we take so much care, to plan it well and to equip our volunteers with the right training as well.